Today I, I thought I'd talk about insurance and I'll give you three reasons why you should have fire and theft insurance on your motorcycle. Those three reasons are two guys and a pickup. Yeah, this morning I'm in my studio and I'm looking out the window and I see these uh, these two guys in this old beat up pickup and you know you can tell right I mean they they look kind of kind of shifty eh? and they're driving real slow checking out uh, checking out houses you know looking out the windows at the house and when they come to my place they slow down real slow I've got Clyde in the driveway because I'm gonna go for a spin he's not in the garage and they see it. I, I can see him looking at the bike. And I see one of them. Looks like he's writing something down, eh? And I'm thinking, yeah, I know what you guys are doing. You're making a shopping list. So, then I'm thinking, well, this year was the first year I haven't got fire and theft on Clyde here. I thought, you know what? No one's tried to steal it yet. What's the odds? Well, I guess that's the idea of insurance though, right? <laughs> so, um, so, I think to myself, maybe I should correct that. Go to the insurance company, get some fire and theft on poor Clyde here. I mean, you know, it's, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg, at least not for me. Over the last few years, it's only cost $244, I think it is, uh, for the extra over and above basic insurance and liability. And so then that $244 covers uh, fire theft and, uh, you know, lots of other eventualities. If you break down and, you know, it'll cover towing and uh, hotel, I think even, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff it covers all for that, for the year. That's for 12 months. After seeing those guys, it reminded me of the reason why in the past I've always got the extra insurance on it. And I just can't justify risking it. So there's my three reasons. Two guys and a shitty looking pickup. So what do you think? Do you have fire and theft on your bike? Is it not worth it? Or is it? Comment below, tell me what you do. That's what I'm gonna do anyway. Gonna play it safer. So, I'm gonna call an end to this little video here. And uh, go do some shopping. Put the rotor lock on the rear rotor. <laughs> now that we're thinking of theft. Yeah, I always um, I always put the bike in the in the garage locked up, and it's either got um, steering locked and a big u-shaped brinks lock as a rotor lock on the rear so they'd have to actually pick it up to carry it out of the garage or i uh, have a cable and i'll cable the frame to a d-ring i've got cemented in the floor but it doesn't mean they can't grab it right so we're going to do something about that anyway you folks you take care have a wonderful day I'll try and do the same. Ride safe, have fun.